Hey what's up guys, it's Austin here from Royal Highness Python and in today's video I've got a really cool one for you guys. We're going to put some snakes under a black light and we're going to see some really cool colors and some pattern that we normally can't see on the white snakes. So before we get into that, huge shout out to the four horsemen. I believe Shane from Small Town Exotics is behind this. Really cool, go check it out. So into this video, we're going to show you what the snakes look like first in light and then we're going to show you what it looks like under the black light and some of the snakes i don't know exactly what they are so hopefully with the black light we can go and shed some light on the pattern and we'll see exactly what it is so let's get right into that so the first snake here is going to be my pastel lavender albino female and you can see she's got a lot of blushing it's kind of hard to see it's not that much contrast because it's white on yellow or more of a lavender color on yellow so I hope that when we turn the black light on it right now, it's going to shed a lot more contrast and we can really see all the glowing and the highlighter colors that are really faded. So let's go try that right now. So here she is under the black light and it's spectacular. I'm not sure if the camera can pick up all the colors that I'm seeing, but lavenders under a black light, even albinos under a black light look really cool. You get to see a whole lot of blushing and a whole lot of other things that you normally wouldn't see or you can see but they don't show that much because the contrast isn't there and the black light really implements a lot of contrast and really makes all those little colors pop and if you zoom into the belly you can really see the colors coming up from the side all the blushing it's really insane and intense a lot different than the golds in the saddle i meant the golds in the uh alien heads on the side really cool and one of my favorite snakes to look at under the black light. The second one is gonna be my banana dinker male. And he's a little skinny right now. I took him out of the breeding because he did not eat for three weeks in a row. So now he just ate an ASF, an African software rat, for those who don't know. And so he's looking like he's gonna continue eating and hopefully he'll get back to size and I can get him breeding again soon. So now let's go check him out right under a black light. So as you can see, he looks crazy under a black light. All the purples really show. And in person, there's a lot of contrast with the orange. Not too sure how good the camera's picking it up. I noticed that the camera cannot pick up all the colors that I'm seeing in person, but it does a pretty good job of giving you a just uh, view of what I'm seeing. So really cool. Really like all the orange that pop, all the purples. And you still see the contrast with all the yellows insane really love this male and i love him even more under the black light so now i'm going to move on to a hatchling we're going to go on to some of the white snakes so stay tuned for that right here we have one of my white babies from my special double head monsoon pied male and this one is from a butter spider uh, butter spider pinstripe so a butter spinner and as you can see there's a lot of white pattern but you can even see more white inside and I don't know if the camera can pick it up that well but I hope with the black light it'll definitely shine the pattern and we can see even more that it's kind of hiding up here right now. I can see a little bit of speckling but it's really hard to tell what it is so let's go do that right now. But as you can tell with the black light it exposed a lot. If you take a look at the back right here we have a lot of chaining pattern coming down really crazy wackiness never seen anything like this i wouldn't be surprised if this one turned out to be het monsoon and if you look at the back of the head it even has some really wackiness looks really insane it's hard to describe but i'm sure you guys can see what i'm seeing i love the blushness on the head i just can't get enough of like the really 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 wacky pattern on the tail holy cow that looks crazy So definitely safe to say that the male didn't, the female did not prove out Het Monsoon. I think this one will prove out because the wackiness once again. Don't see that it's going to prove out Het Pied. Uh, I'll show you exactly why with the next snake. So let's move on to that. This is a really cool snake. You can see that it's all white, but if you take a look at the tail right here, you can see that there's a white ringing patch. At first, I thought this could have been an all white uh, special pied or a special lesser pied but it's not and I'll show you why with the black light but if you search look right into the eyes of it you can see that they have a red pupil and 
Usually lesser or bell complex have red pupils when they're pieds, but now I guess that the hep pieds or ones with ringers can also throw red pupils. So really cool to know that. And I also seen that usually bell complex pieds, if it's lesser or if it's special and it's all white, they tend to have really small eyes. And these eyes don't look too small. They look a little small, but nothing too small to be worried about. So let's get her right under a black light right now and go see what we can see. So wow, really cool. So she's definitely not a pied. She has head pattern right there as you can see, but she also has this really wacky pattern down the whole back. And right here is where that white patch is. Maybe better on this side. Oh, she's kind of hiding it, but it's right here. It's not really easy to see the black light doesn't make it look any better but you can see that there actually is pattern on the dorsal that we could not see before so really amazing that the black light came and shined that on us and really wacky not sure what's going on hopefully in a few sheds it'll grow a bit more and we can see a little bit more of the pattern but for now really crazy snake don't know what it is still but i'm definitely assuming that it's a lesser special hepide possibly hep monsoon really wacky you can see that the pattern's bleeding in a really like i don't even know digital pattern looks really crazy we got some break in the dorsal over here really cool so let's move on to the last white snake we're going to do today i do have a few more but they're in shed and i realized they don't look the best when they're in shed so we're just gonna go do that right now on a crystal i have a crystal Possible hip monsoon, possible hip pied, and it looks like it's probably just a crystal, but really cool. Love the purple head, love the purple and pink pattern. This one's kind of being a little picky eater. Only had one meal since it came out of the egg about three weeks ago, so should be three meals in. So I might have to assist feed this one in the future if it does not take ASFs this week. And once again, ASF is African software rat. And it's just a little smaller than an, av an average rat, the Norwegian ones that we usually feed. And in that, they feel a little more comfortable. They're actually their native species of rodent that they eat. So hopefully that can entice her enough to go and chomp on one. So hopefully she'll do that this week. And I'll give you guys an update on her to see how she progresses and how she grows. But right now, let's go see her under a black light. So here she is, my crystal female, possible hep pied, possible hep monsoon. And you can see she really glows under the black light. You can see some blushing on the head that wasn't there before, but you can really see the contrast and all the flaming coming up from the sides. It's really cool seeing how the sides are a lot lighter and it comes to a real nice solid color at the dorsal. So not all snakes look real nice under a black light. A lot of them tend to look dull. So comment down below what you guys want to see next under a black light and hopefully I can go and show you that. I'll even show you some that don't look too nice so you guys can get your own perspective on what to expect when using a black light. Right now I'm using a tub just so I can get the most darkness in here. So that's a little tip for you guys if you want to try to go with your snakes under a black light. I'll even link uh, this black light here I'm using from Amazon in the description below for you guys. So you can go and get yourself one and maybe even do your own video or look at your snakes under a black light and see some really crazy designs that weren't there or were there that you couldn't see before. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. So black light is something I really want to incorporate in some of my future videos with some of the white snakes I produced and even some of the lavender albinos and normal albinos I produced. There's even some other snakes that look really good under black light. The only thing is right now they're in shed. So I'm definitely going to go do another video for you guys so you can see some more awesome snakes under a black light. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys out in the next one. So peace.